So Galileo is thinking about careful standards. He's thinking about、um, isolating the ph- phenomena,、uh, gravity, and、uh, simplifying, it, s- simplifying it and manipulating nature rather than just、uh, watching it. And he does a mathematical analysis as well. So, one of the last and essential ingredients of this new field of the physics is to be quantitatively rigorous. Quantitatively rigorous, oh yeah, about what you are doing.、Yeah. He's not the first, of course, in fact, ancient Greek philosopher, uh, uh, sorry, he's not the first,、uh, of course, in fact,、uh, ancient Greek astronomers were. Making mathematical analysis, which we will be talking about, but this is certainly part of what he's bringing back into the world view in the late 1500s.、Uh, So, this experiment that I'm describing goes by a、uh, physics name, but it's, it's named, named kinematic.、Uh, the experiment that I'm、uh, describing goes by physics name.、Uh, uh, it's, it's kinematics. Kinematics. Kinema,、uh, think of the cinema. And the cinema is a motion picture. Kinema、uh, means we are uh, measuring uh, kinematics, is a mathematical or measurement of the motion. So, we are trying to describe motions. We are not yet trying to explain it. Galileo is not, in the end, really going to have deep explanation for why the different marble rolling down the track behave as they do. He just wants to tell us clearly,、uh, with, with very careful language, very, with, with, with very careful measuring tools,、uh, what is going on and how it works. works. Galileo, of course, is suspicious that heavy things and light things should fall at very different rates, and he's not,、uh, he, he's, he, he, he's not the first person to su- suspicious.、Uh, he's not the first person to be sus- suspicious about it.、Uh, you, you are pro- probably kind of suspicious about this idea. But let's think about, about,、uh, but let's think about the,、uh, the experiment that you might do.、Uh, the, First of all, I'd love to encourage you to please try this experiment. There, there will be there's many times,、uh, times in this course where you should just go after class and play a little bit, pick up two objects and drop them, and just watch. Yeah, just watch. Yeah. Now, if, 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 the, first, if the first two objects that you picked up, uh, 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 you want something light and something heavy, so and pick up the piece of the paper in one end and uh, uh, pick up the heavy book in the other, and, and, and,、uh, and you drop them. So、um, uh, let's, uh, let's take a pen and piece of paper and、uh, we'll pick, up, pick them up and、uh, drop them. And it's、uh, very clear who wins the race. Aristotle is quite correct. The heavy object and lands much faster and much earlier than a piece of paper. You, and, and you, you have to stop and think about this.、Uh, why, why did that happen? Why, why did that happen? Is it intrinsic because the pen is heavier? So let, 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 let me try the answer experiment. It takes a pen and, and the piece of paper again, and uh, uh, this time I'm going to. Crump, crump, crump up the piece of paper. And so, look, look, look. I haven't changed the weight of the piece of paper. And, um, and, and、uh, uh, Aristotle would say, if you didn't change the weight, Aristotle would say, if you didn't change the weight, you didn't change its, 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 its desire to be on the ground, its natural state.、Huh? Uh, uh, so,、uh, Aristotle would presumably predict, predict this,、uh, this, uh, this uh, exact the same result of the experiment.、Uh, but, but, but now, you, when you, we let them go, it's completely impossible for me to. Yeah, it, 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 it's. it's、uh, let, 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 let me do it again. At the same time, at, at, at exactly the same、uh, period of time they spent and they reached the, the, the ground at the exactly the same time, okay? 
And so、um, Aristotle would presum- presumably predict the exact same result of the experiment, but now when we let them go, it's completely impossible for me to see which one hits ground first. They seem to be hitting it exactly the same time, and this, of course, is Galileo's observation. Wow.、Uh, this is, of course, Galileo's ob- observations.、Uh, this is the, that famous experiment where you go to the top of the leaning tower of the Pisa and drop a really heavy、uh, cannonball and、uh, some light cannonball, may- may- maybe, 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 uh, maybe, um, A hollowed out cannonball similar in the shape and size. Si- similar in the shape and size, and、uh, th- which is an important element of the story. And you you realize that that is not the weight that is that is、uh, putting, it, putting it to the ground faster. Indeed, the, 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 the two objects are traveling together.、Mm. They, they are doing the same thing. All objects that entrap. If you are doing a crum- crumpling up、um, the, pa- uh, the, the, the paper, it's, it's com-、uh, the, 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 the crumpling up the piece of paper is, el-、uh, is eliminate,、uh, eliminating the complication,、uh, namely, air resistance, which is something other than the gravity.、Mm. And this is a part of their insight. It's, it's, it's to, 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 to recognize this, you, you need to simplify and、uh, get rid of the friction and make gravity as weak as possible, as weak as possible by lowering an instant, in, in, instant incline it instead of the,、uh, in this, in, in, make, make it straight and、uh, you can access the fundamental truths. Wow! So, so let, let me repeat this sentence again. Part of the Galileo's insight was recognizing the need to simplify, to eliminate friction, make gravity as weak as possible by lowering things down and incline, incline instead of dropping them straight. And you can access a fundamental truth. This is a lovely and important element of, of the Gal- Gal- Galileo's experiments. Part of the Galileo's achievement, achievement then is uh,、um, to recognize that、uh, if you have different s- stories going on the, at the same time, you must simplify, simplify, simplify. This is sort of the core idea of the physics today. And if, if you can uh, take, uh, uh, take uh, different marbles and load, load, them, load, load them down different t- tracks and their.、Uh, um, And you start to smooth, smooth it down, you begin to realize that、uh, the same thing b e g i n to happen. And it doesn't matter if you have an extraordinary dense marble or extraordinary light marble, as long as the friction is small and as they go i n g to down the same incline, they'll do the same thing. Oh, yay!、Okay. Wow, this is wow. Let's go back because I don't want to zoom in there on the physics too much. Today, I want to keep at the metaphysics level. Let's think about the measurements. So, if you want to measure a、uh, distance, distance traveled, you'd like to some kind of unit. And today, we have a standards. We all agreed we are going to use the, the meter. And the meter is some of the, some of the one hands b- breathe. And you can go out and buy a meter stick and、uh, see、uh, exactly, exactly what it is. And、uh, it's, it's very close to your art. Yes.、Um, in Galileo's day, people were arguing about what was.、Uh, uh, and in Galileo's day,、um, people were arguing about what the standards should be and how we should define a unit of distance so that everybody in the different l a b o r a t o r y Can be in the agreement. And again, Galileo is certainly not the first, of course.、Mm.
there are、uh, the ancient Greek measures of all of units of time and distance.、Um, Galileo、uh, is uh, uh, measuring time in these various different ways, and、uh, ultimately leads us down this steady path historically until the definition of the meter and the definition of the, the seconds. And then the, these contemporary units are very important to us. Throughout this course, I will be using by and large the metric unit system. I know most of the most of, most of us are familiar with the pounds, feet, and inches. And, 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 and as, as a physicist, I, sh- I, I, sh- I, I shudder and u- use those sometimes.、Um, h- however, however, if I can possibly avoid them, I do. The, the, the United States is now the last country in the world still using these ancient measurement units, and、uh, the metric system is、uh, really very human. <laughs> And there are. Yeah, 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 and then, yeah, pretty much so, yeah. The, 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 the United States is now the last country in the world、uh, still using these, these ancient measurement units, and、uh, the metric system is really very human. Um, uh, uh, It was, it was designed by the, the group of people in the Europe in the、uh, 1700s so, so, that,、uh, so, so that we would have the well established common frame for talking about measurements.、Um, Galileo is also using another kind of tool, which is a mathematical tool. If you have a marvelous rolling down an inclined plane, and if you wanted to describe what's going on, you Um, you, you want to describe what's going on, you make a measurement of the distance and you make a measurement of the time.、Mm. Now you need to relate these things. How far do you travel in the, in the given time? This is the physics that we are heading to, and this is the physics we are going to be heading towards. And uh, um, Galileo uh, you know, is, a, is a sort of the strung, struggling with this by and large. A、geometrical argument. He would think about ratio. Oh, how this is mathematics. He would think about think of the ratio. He would say the time taken for this marble is to the time taken by seconds marble as a distance travel. Wow, this is genius. So, so again,、uh, he would say the time. Taken for the, this marvel is to the time taken by the second marvel、mm. as, as, as the distance travel. Well, he, 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 he would think about some ratio of this type, and uh,、um, that works. And uh, the, the, it, it, it's, it's awkward mathematics, though, though it is awkward mathematics today. Uh, when, when, we, when, we, when we think about kinds of the measurement that Galileo was doing, we, we, wonder, we wonder why he didn't use algebra.、Uh, algebra is so much simpler than a geometry for this kind of problem, and algebra is basically a, a symbolic way of describing these things. So, for instance, if you want to talk about the speed of the marble, you, you say, How fast is it going? Oh, oh, well, 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 we all have a good in- intuition ab- about speed from our automobiles. It's distance divided by times.、Um, it's miles per hour. And, we, and when you're driving a car and you see that the speedometers and the needle says 55 miles per hour.、Mm. It, it's, it's just so easy you can, and you can write it down on a piece of paper. Um, Ga- Galileo wasn't thinking about that way. Galileo wasn't thinking about that way. He was thinking about the ratios of distances in two, sex- in, 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 in two circumstances and times in two circumstances.、Hmm. Wow,、well, that's, that's sharply too. This is smart too because the ratio is the core of mathematics. The ratio is, is, is in another word, the function. The function is the is, is, is,、uh, is power. Uh, uh, ruling this universe. So, yeah. So, what now t a k e us as a very、uh, minimal effort to, to make sense of g- 
Galileo really struggled with in an、uh, in impressive ways to figure out the rule and the behavior, which we're gonna be talking about in the next lecture. If you're rolling, if you're rolling the mar marbles down on the inclined plane, uh. Uh, there are, are a couple of things that、uh, you have to think about. You have to think about eliminating friction. You have to think about different angles. So, rolling down a steep incline is, go is, is gonna give you a different result, obviously,、uh, than the, the rolling down a shallow incline. Galileo has to think hard about how to be quantitative with new measurements and angle. And he also has to、uh, uh, sort of compare the, the results at different angles. And indeed, we will see that he saw something very profound when he thought about the limits. When he thought about the limit,、uh, either, either as the angle goes to the 90 degrees. Uh, uh, so, that, 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 that's、uh, when you are dropping the object, and uh, it, 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 uh, is, uh, is, uh, it, that's the limit that Aristotle was talking about. Also, there is one place to go, to, so, so,、uh, the, the, or where the incline goes to zero,、uh, the, uh, that is going to lead us many wonderful ideas about the nature of the world. So, Galileo is doing a lot. Uh, Galileo is doing a lot of cool things. He's quanti quantifying measurements and uh, 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 he, he's isolating phenomena. And, uh, and uh, uh, one of the observations that he makes is the、uh, is, is observation that we just made during our, re re、uh, do doing our uh, reader experiment with pen and paper, which is that all the marbles are going down, down the, the lamp. and the Tying at the bottom if their angle is the same.、Mm. Mm. Um, and uh, uh, he can now talk about what fast means. So remember, this is was,、uh, remember, this was one of the Aristotle's big, deep problems. Aristotle says, One object goes faster than the other. What did he mean? Galileo says, Let's be careful. I'm gonna to define for you. I, I'm gonna define for you what, what first means. It's, 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 it's going to be your speed, which I'm defining now to be distance traveled.、Uh, we, we'll be able to distinguish. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Which, which I'm defining now to be distance traveled. Divided by time taken.、Mm. Um, so we will be able to distinguish between the speed of the object and, for instance, and the rate at which the speed is changing. So, 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 so the rate at which the speed is changing. So,、uh, in, in all of these circumstances, Galileo is、uh, beginning to create a mathematical framework. Of kinematics. He is describing the motion and、uh, he's explaining what's happening and he's leaving it to the uh, uh, next generation of physicists to, 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 to try to make sense of this behavior. You are gonna have to analyze this theoretically and quantitatively, and uh, um, it's, it's, it's useful, so useful to us that he w o r r y about defining these words. Uh, I, I can't even think about speed anymore. It's just obvious, right? You, you know what the speed, in, speed means, but, but, but in, in that era, speed was not such a well defined idea.、Hmm. So、um, let's think a little let, let's think a little bit more about measuring speed. Um, if you go 55 miles per hour,、um, okay, that's why you're doing on the highway. You are imagining picking a fixed unit of time, one hour, and measuring how far you went. So you, you, you have to have some markers on the long side.、Uh, you have to have some markers alongside, along the side of the highway. 
if you have a marble rolling down inclined ramp and you want to measure its speed, it's the same game. You're gonna start your clock and uh, stop your clock, and of course, Galileo doesn't have a watch. <laughs> of course, Galileo doesn't have a stopwatch, which, which would have been so convenient for him. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, you've got them, uh, and then, then, then you have to make your measurements of the distance and simpl uh, simply uh, compute the ratio. Yeah, sure. So uh, this is a, a sort of a story behind the physics result of the Galileo and the kinds of the tools that he's developing and scientific tools, mathematical tools, and standards tools. And in the end, what he's, what, what he's doing is, is challenging the, the status quo. So for, for forever, as far as, as people in the Renaissance were concerned, everybody knew about motions. Everybody knew that all marbles want to be sitting down on the ground. He, he, heavy ones want it more, so more, more badly. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He, heavy, heavy ones want it more so. Oh. Uh, heavy one want it more, so they'll be there first. And uh, the, the, the Galileo says, um, "Wait a minute, wait a minute. L let's make some, l l let's make some measurements. That's not what's happening, okay?" Um, and uh, and uh, um, what's our ultimately uh, gonna be result of this? You you can connect the motion of the marble to the motion of, uh, to the motion of anything else. So 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 on the on the hand on on the on the, on the one hand you uh, abstracted you, you you abstracted yeah yeah um yeah so on the one hand you have abstracted abstracted to the this absurd little toy system mm. it makes you think of your elementary school science project it will probably be a great little science fair uh, project. Uh, because 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 there is a lot of good physics in the in those rolling marbles, but so what? Um, why would you care about rolling marbles? And, and the, the point is the once you understand how marbles works, you can ask the questions: Does everything else works that way? Does everything else works that way? Can we make sense of that world? by thinking not about where the marble wants to be, but to, to reframe our questions and ask what, what, uh, ask what cause motion, what cause change in motion is really going to be the question that we want to head towards. So, uh, yes, Galileo lamps so Galileo's lamp is an uh, awfully simple it, li uh, little experiment. It's almost like a, a toy experiment, but uh, these results are were pretty pain pain painstaking. Uh, it 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 took him a little while. It took him a while, and uh, in in the end, he established this insight that it did indeed turn out to be universal. Yeah. Mm. Now Galileo didn't have so, so now Galileo didn't have everything right. He 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 he, he he's not so, some sort of the Danny God as 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 every scientist we are going to talk, be talking about. He had some ideas right and some ideas wrong. Uh, yeah, sure. It, it it was still a crude stage. And he is still really focusing on the first question of the physics, which is kinematics, the description of the motion. The kinem kinematics is, a, is all about description of the motion. And there, as, as we will see, once we are able to describe the kinematics, we are just ripe to be able to explain them. Wow. So cool. <laughs> 